Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rookie Barbour run where we're trying to beat the, the game on the highest difficulty with nothing but rookies. It is time to continue our ever so ongoing onslaught against alien facilities. The doom clock is ticking, so it is time for the new alien facility. Operation Deadman Stallion is upon us. And this one is a dangerous one because we're fighting against an alien ruler. First time, uh, so this is uh, potentially going to be the Viper King. We're bringing two of our best tag teams with us, Sonar Insane, Jeranks and Aaron are going to go in. We have two Mimic Beacons uh, since we are only fighting uh, a limited amount of enemies that are robotic. I will limit it actually to uh, that one blue screen round. Everybody else is taking tail and rounds for now. Um, uh, place around, sorry. In order to compensate for their poor aim, we need to make sure that every single shot hits the problem with the rulers in particular is that uh, we will need to deal a lot of damage and we will potentially need to um, trap him with an overwatch trap and then either kill him with a repeater or alternatively shred him to zero armor and kill him afterwards. Well, not killing him but getting him down to two thirds of hit points. So we're going to take some damage in return, as every single action that we're doing is going to trigger one action from his side as well. And that by itself is a very scary prospect. Let's jump right into it and see how we're doing. Well, 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 we just landed, guys. Here we go. I am so looking forward for that. Desert landscape uh, that is I'm just getting I'm getting the real XCOM vibes at the moment Fantastic desert landscape. I am looking forward for that shootout. So we're on non time mission So there's uh, no reason for moving too fast Matter of fact, there is every single reason for moving slow and steady take this high ground here and hopefully hopefully catch that ruler of guard that's the main concern everything else i won't say easy peasy but is ah, i'm going to say it. the rest is easy peasy but uh, the alien ruler that's going to be a very hard nut to crack so single movements which is what you typically should do if you have a completely non-timed mission overwatch crawl is the name of the game and this here would be a fantastic uh, position to exploit high ground. That's affirmative. This here is great as well. If an alien ever walks close to us, Good copy. Moving on target. if we could explode that Moving. canister, we would be Double time. so so successful. That's going to be six damage and a shredding for free. I would even say we're going to double move in this particular case just because I want to keep the, the entire team somewhat together. More high ground, which of course you could imagine is what I'm going for. Okay. High ground and rookies, that goes together like pasta and tomato sauce. Couldn't come up with a better uh, comparison, but it actually goes together quite well. Compensates for their shortcomings in other departments. A little bit uh, low on the actual on the actual uh, cover up here, and we know there's pack right here. Yep, yeah. already seen that because we saw the hit point bar. Wow, I could get rid of the Spectre almost immediately. Roger that. Still questioning whether or not that is necessary right away. I'd like to get over here. Careful though, I don't want to 
get in range of two packs at the same time. Very good. So we're going to take that high ground here next. Not sure what the Spectre is going to do. There is a second pack, which originally we didn't want to engage with. <sighs> so gotta be careful now. Yeah, we're in a difficult spot. They have cornered us. We're definitely going to quadruple Overwatch if they move up and uh, we're being caught out. This could mean that we're actually engaging with both of the packs. Spectre is generally a dangerous foe. Don't want to trifle with them. This is, by the way, a great grenade. Heading to that location. Okay, so teammates are close to one another, uh, coincidentally. Moving in packs, since they have bond level 2, they also give one another bonuses as long as they are in rage of one another. Yeah, keep on going for them, because they don't have lightning reflexes. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Well, so much for a low amount of mechanical units, right? There we are. Mechanical units. Good, but we got the blue screen rounds, the bluest of blue screen rounds. Moving over. Careful assessment of the situation. And an immediate kill of the more dangerous enemy. We can move over to here. Just barely getting us into a flanking position. Here we go. Dodged it nicely. Moving over here. Flanking position. And let's try to hit him. Unfortunately, not a crit. Good hit, but not a crit. The high ground here would be so tempting, but at the same time it would open up the entire map and you gotta be careful not to do those maneuvers. You just cannot do them. Are we going to use teamwork? Nah, it's not that dangerous. He will shadowbound one of our soldiers. Lightning reflex it immunizes, immunizes it against uh, Overwatch, so won't even try. There's the shadowbound. Very well. Takes good cover. Or poor cover, depending on how you would like to, to look at it. Out. No problem with moving into the open here. We're going to kill the Spectre this turn. Is what he thought before figuring out that it is not that easy. 80%. Well, 
Oh, well, guess what? We're going down. We got the blue screen rounds. We got the extra scope. I hate going into the open. Okay, well, there we go. Nice little execution. The same time, Overwatch, reload Overwatch, and we're good to go. Now, no more time for scouts or anything alike. From now on, we gotta be really careful. Reload. Overwatch. Overwatch. And. Rolling. Moving to here. Covering now. Overwatch. Very good. But carefully, very carefully moving forward. That is why you carefully, very carefully, are moving forward. Look, as if I would have known it, right? Stupid snake. Overwatch. Overwatch, Overwatch, and end of turn by moving out of line of sight. It would seem Valen's creations are not intent on making this easy. Stay alert for rapid movement as it attempts to reposition itself. Reload Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. 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 That's the more difficult part now. Heading there now. Heading to that location. All right, move. Moving to designated move. position. Don't get so. Uh, Saint still needs to be careful. Lots and lots of Overwatch here. It is somewhere, but we don't know where. Now I gotta be really careful with the line of sight. Um, let's see if we can figure out some more intel, okay? So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to feel out all of the fields here. And see if that little snake has positioned itself somewhere here. There, right there. Right there. Cannot... You cannot move into that field, and that is where it is positioned. Dangerous, super dangerous for us. But it also gives us some more clarity of what we can and cannot do, right? So... This is truly where it is currently standing. Ah, uh, then we gotta be extra careful. Alright, so an indirect hit with a rocket launcher would work. Overwatching with uh, sonar. Overwatching with Aaron. Overwatching with Sane. And I am willing to put some money on the line. But that thing is there, right there. Yeah, we heard the snake. We heard the snake. Gotta play, like, with every bit of, of knowledge. It's now burning, which is great. Every bit of knowledge is required. Still right here. Hasn't moved a bit. 
not an inch. All right, so in order to make that work, we're hitting it again. How could we get a great angle on it? I think they ignore mimic beacons, but I'm not sure. We could give it a try though. Moving over here. Which ranks, how do we how do we deal with that? We hit it twice. We don't know the amount of damage, but it is shredded at, with two armor and it's burning currently. So we should use uh, that. The burning e effect will not immediately go away. And it will burn every single time it gets an action. Get it done. Got it Overwatch. Okay. Okay, so what's happening here? Still in the same spot. Let's try that Mimic Beacon thing. Really don't know if it's going to work or not. Headed there now. Moving into position. There is the burning. Teamwork does not trigger, it's a free action. Oh wow, it triggers! Learned something today. By the way, ignores Mimic Beacon. Alright, repeater, normal repeater, not the extra repeater. Let's try that, come on. Nice little hit. But not a crit continues to burn which is good this will not trigger ruler action overwatch and overwatch Well, at least the tower, I suppose, uh, starts hating the Mimic Beacon. Well done. Super heavy tower, double shot. There is a 10% repeater. Oh boy. It's just getting better and better. The concentrated breath of that creature is reading at incredibly low temperatures. You 
are at risk of severe tissue damage if exposed. Good to know, Doctor. That was a very, very, very good breath. On the move. I'm on it. We're crowd controlled, so they should not take a shot at us, but rather go for the extra soldier back here. We got at least half cover. Let me correct my statement from before. If we're clustering up, they will still go for it. Mutant takes severe amount of damage. Oh, we're still throwed. Okay, well, great. Two more rounds. Okay, well. And that was our last Mimic Beacon. That's unfortunate. Good copy. Moving on target. Good Viper King is still there. This is going to be a tough mission. Moving away from the Viper Ki uh, from the Viper King. Is this going to work well this here should barely get him out of uh, reach move into here pick up the body and let's get out of here potentially chosen uh, one of the other soldiers since they are lower on health I think his breath uh, will have uh, cooldown uh, soon so we gotta be really careful how to approach him. The one time we need the overwatch shot to actually hit, it does not. Seventy two per cent, seventy seven per cent, let's go. Portal? Yeah. Sort of psionic rift. I cannot Dr. Ballin would have allowed it to have this ability. Trying to make a break for it. 
Oh boy, we're getting... We're getting slaughtered here. Nope, and not even that extra hit. Oh well, we got a hair trigger. That's not bad. But of course he got a dodge, so... Yeah. Good, we know that there is a tower. So how do we get around that unfortunate circumstance? I think I know the answer. Which is, just don't fight the super heavy tower. Moving. Good, full cover. And full cover. To be honest, I think that movement is the tower. Oh boy, what a tight mission, and we need to win this in order to make it less awkward. Understood. Moving out. Hit it there now. Come get some. There might be still one more pack around. Okay, second tower. Just in case the first one wasn't enough. And you always learn a couple of valuable lessons. I was trying to be super smart with uh, the Overwatch, right? And with clustering up on that high ground. And unfortunately, the AI countered it very well with that massive uh, frost breath that it threw down, which almost uh, killed our squad. So even small mistakes, yeah. We can't win a 2 versus 4, respectively 2 versus 6. That's not going to work out. Position confirmed. But we need this facility to be destroyed. So that might be a sacrifice. Or maybe not. Maybe not. There's actually a way out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you are not facing the evac zone right away. But only after you made sure that you can get out of it. And that was today that they nearly, just so nearly, ca uh, caught Captain Jake Sparrow. Not today, not on my watch. Ooh. Close. Very close got taken down um yeah i told you it's going to be difficult with rookies and no um, equipment that is anti-ruler and it was difficult we started strong with the two explosions i think they worked out incredibly well against it and i think the overall positioning was fine as well I should have potentially just reloaded and kept on overwatching and moving just a tiny bit because the, the matter of the fact is also that um, at some point it would have moved and if we always kept behind that um, front high ground we would have we would have made very much sure that we're not pulling at least the towers. Well, they do have suffered a substantial decline. And we're substantially fighting to stay in this game. 
Alien alloys. Yeah, we could use uh, that. We are not all that dissimilar, Commander. We have both lost. And Alien alloys, we actually have quite a few. I shed blood in my master. Now, let's get that extra loot here. It could be a super heavy weapon or a grappling suit uh, or a nice little ammunition or even all of that. And we got ourselves another few missions. <laughs> Low profile. Yeah. A non side trip in this run. I think we actually need to do this. Left behind is a problem. On the other hand, more intel would be good. And another engineer wouldn't be bad either. <clears throat> Let's think that through. If we had another engineer, we could excavate faster. Are we really requiring another engineer? The other option here is Intel with Intel. I mean, we can make new contact already. But having that extra intel never hurts, right? So that could be uh, punching our ticket out of here. Commander, the factions have readied proposals for various covert missions. We should head to the ring to plan our next stop. Oh, really, Bradford? Well, let's follow your proposal. Well, faction hero, unfortunate, can't do it. Faction hero, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. Well. How about you first of all read the uh, the fine print before making a suggestion? Thank you, Bradford. Appreciate uh, your deep, thoughtful approach. Um, yeah, we we could use. We currently have six engineers. We could use the seventh one. We need to excavate a lot, and we actually need engineers here and here as well. But equally so, we could use Intel. And one of our biggest problems at the moment is making contact with all of that those extra regions, right? Hmm. I think I just talked myself into getting that into. I'm not sure. We will see. We will see. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content and if you like the first intermezzo with the Viper King, then be sure to hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. Uh, maybe we can make it a Frost-themed comment. What is your best punchline uh, that you would uh, tell the Viper King when you execute it? All right, have a good one and see you later. Bye-bye.